Prince Philip's treasured Duke of Edinburgh title is meant to pass on to his son Prince Edward but the plan has recently been beset by rumours Prince Charles want hand on the title when he is king. Express.co.uk asked a constitutional expert to explain what is likely to happen to the peerage. Express.co.uk asked constitutional expert Ian McMarthan for his take on the royal row which he described as a storm in a teacup. Prince Charles, 72 automatically became the Duke of Edinburgh upon Philip's death and when he becomes king, his peerages will merge with the crown allowing him to redistribute them as he sees fit, Mr. McMarthan explained. The expert said, when Prince Philip died earlier this year, Prince Charles, as his eldest male heir, inherited his dukedom together with its subsidiary titles, becoming the second Duke of Edinburgh. The expert added, Assuming Prince Charles succeeds his mother the dukedom will merge with the crown, in essence, it will cease to be. There are historical examples of such titles merging with the crown, Mr. McMarthan said. He added, this has happened before, primarily when a second son unexpectedly becomes heir to the throne, recent examples being George V and Vi who had both been Duke of York, and in each case, the York title merged with the crown before being recreated at a later date. Charles would have to create Edward the Duke of Edinburgh when he is king rather than it happening automatically, Mr. Mac Marthan explained. He added, once merged, it can be given a new creation by the incumbent monarch. In 1999, at the time of Prince Edward's marriage, it was stated that in due course he would inherit his father's dukedom. By this, it was understood that once the dukedom of Edinburgh merged with the crown under Prince Charles, that Charles, as king, would make a new creation of the title in favour of his younger brother.